Um, so this week on Monday, we talked about how to lower stubborn cholesterol. And I showed you the book by um, Dr. Esselstein about how to reverse heart disease that I was, I was reading, I finished reading it. it. Has some good recipes in it. I may actually purchase the book just for the recipes that are in the back of it. Give those a try. I did make something that was resembling their blueberry muffin recipe. Yes. Um, I kind of tweaked it. Cause you know me, I can't actually follow She's a gotta, recipe. She has to fix it. <laughs> so I'm playing with it a little bit. Um, if I decide I like my recipe better than theirs, I'll, I'll post mine. Right. So um, lowering stubborn cholesterol, we talked about how Dr. Esselstein says, if you have heart disease, no oil, no nuts, zero period, none. Um, he's okay with flax seed and I think a little bit of hemp seeds, right. um, but no nuts. And it's interesting because there are studies that show that nuts lower cholesterol, but in looking at those studies closely, what I found is that those studies are done on people who are omnivores. Mm -hmm. There are no studies that I've been able to find yet where it's a plant-based person and they're saying if this person is plant-based and they eat nuts, is their cholesterol lower than if right. they're plant-based and they don't eat nuts. And that's the problem with this way of living, of this, this lifestyle, is that there just aren't a lot of studies done because... You know, it's hard There's to... There's not a lot of us out here yet. Right, and it's hard to follow people and what they're eating and be sure that they're always eating just plants or they're always, you know, or whatever it is. So a lot of it's, you know, the, the honor system and, well, you yeah. know how that can go sometimes. Yeah. But, um, so I, I mentioned that I may at some point, because I do have a thyroid condition, my cholesterol tends to be a little bit stubborn. Um, I, it, I would like it to be lower, even though I'm, I'm within that normal range as far as the medical community is concerned. I would like it to be uh, lower than it is. So, bless you, dear. Sorry. Um, I may at some point uh, try eliminating nuts and seeds, other than Brazil nuts, because they seem to be good for you. I don't. I don't know. I have to do more research on that exactly as to what that what that means and what that looks like. But that's what we shared with you on Monday. On Tuesday, we talked about dairy and children. If you have children and you're wondering about dairy, um, I would highly recommend you go back and, and watch Tuesday's live because we did talk about a lot of the science. Mm -hmm. And the the bottom line is. Children don't need dairy, adults don't need dairy. There is no reason to give um, anyone human, any humans dairy. Um, but if you absolutely must, if you feel like you must, at least do organic. Right. Because then you're avoiding um, the pesticides and the antibiotics and all the crazy uh, hormones and stuff that they add to cows that are not organic. Good morning, um, Allison. Hey, Allison. Happy Friday. And also I mentioned uh, on the same topic that the article that we, we referenced, which was by T. Colin Campbell's organization. I always forget which one that is. Nutrition Center for Nutrition Studies at that's Cornell University. One. That's the one. <laughs> um, Ashley quoted a pediatrician in there that basically talks about what they're taught in medical school and then what he's done for his family, you know, and staying away from dairy. Because, and I know, I mean, I see it in the groups I'm in, pediatricians still do push dairy. I had uh, someone say just, I think yesterday in a group that her pediatrician was telling her, her children, who I think she said were two and four, should drink 16 ounces of milk a day. Mm -hmm. That's a lot of milk. Mm -hmm. So if you feel like you have to have milk, at least try to, you know, do organic. And that goes for all dairy, whether you're, if you're ingesting dairy, at least do organic. I don't mm -hmm. recommend you ingest in dairy just because of the casein in it and that link to cancer. But I grew up drinking it, and fingers crossed, I'm, I'm hopeful that my body's been able to deal with the casein I put through right. it, and that now that I'm eating plant-based, it's happier. And it's always like, you're fine, you're fine, you're fine, you're fine, until you're not fine. Right. And then at that point, it's too late. It's too late. Yeah, yeah exactly. So, so, you know, why, why push it? It's a way, to, way I look at mm -hmm. it. Uh, yesterday, no, two days ago on Wednesday, we talked about um, McDonald's free bacon hour and how frustrating it is for us. And the do there are doctors who actually uh, picketed it. They went out with signs that were talking about this how so cool. eating bacon <laughs> causes butt cancer because it is linked directly to coral, coral rectal cancer. Mm -hmm. um, and it is, you guys know, if you follow me on social media, if you follow me on Facebook, you know people argue with me about bacon all the time. Hey, Kristen, Kristen good, good morning. morning. It is one of those things, like, people are cultish about their bacon. Um, I was tagged this morning by someone, and thank you, Nancy, for tagging me, in an article that said, if you reduced your bacon and your booze, you will live longer and be healthier. And I'm like, yeah, no kidding. No kidding right? <laughs> this is not news. But, you know, then somebody kind of said, well, wine isn't booze, right? And I'm like, oh, justification is strong with humans. Mm. Uh, the, you know, wine and bacon seem to be the two things people will, you know, what is this? And cheese. And cheese, right. Well, or like the things that people will just 
they'll know, go to their grave. They, they don't even want literally. to talk facts. No. They don't want to talk facts. They just want to yell at you. Yes. And call you foul things. And, yes. And it was Wine, just unbelievable. Wine, cheese, bacon. Three things that people absolutely will go to their grave right. arguing with you about. Right. Quite literally, actually. So we were we talked about how we were frustrated with McDonald's that McDonald's is a kind of fanning the flames of this the bacon craze and using it to their advantage. And so not only are they giving away a carcinogenic, but then they're feeding people junk food on top of it. So it was just all bad. So we we kind of vent, uh, went on a venting spree mm -hmm. about McDonald's and their their bacon. And then yesterday we talked about Canada's new food guide. If you haven't seen it, I highly recommend that you go ahead and just Google Canada's new food guide. It's, their, it's new since, so their last one came out in 2007 and they re released this new one on January 22nd. I think it was the 22nd, they just recently released it. And they did a, they did a good job. Um, it's not perfect by any stretch of the imagination, but it is phenomenally better than um, what we have here in the United States. They um, have the plate and split up into three parts. The, on one side, they have uh, fruits and vegetables. And what's interesting is they include peas right. in fruits and vegetables, which they are, but it's also a protein. It's very heavily protein. Yeah. Um, then they have the grains, and they have you know all the grain foods and whatever is, is a quarter of the plate. And then they have protein. And I thought it was very interesting that they broke the plate out by a food group, a food group, and then a nutrient. nutrient. Yeah. <laughs> um, but fortunately, in the protein group, they do they do have uh, fish and beef and eggs and um, chicken. It looks like a little bit of yogurt. A little bit of yogurt. Some, they, so they do have some animal products in it, which not ideal. But they have a lot of beans and tofu and different things like that. So kudos to them for at least getting there. The one thing they didn't do is when they broke out the nutrient protein, um, they didn't point out that the, all the other groups they have in there, the fruits and the nuts, or the fruits and the vegetables and the grains, have protein in them too. So what is, uh, Chris brought home a new copy of the Food Guide last week. I'm definitely happier with it. Right? Yeah, yeah it is. Exactly. It's, it's much better. Um, so they didn't point out that the, the nutrient they decided to separate out is in all the other right. foods that are on the plate. They also, um, where the American Food Guide has dairy, like milk, set aside, like drink milk. Um, it, the Canadian one now says make water your right. your uh, choice and, and drink it um, mostly, which, you know, hey, that's, that's, that's phenomenal. Awesome. They don't mention drinking milk at all. That is yeah, awesome. Yeah, which is, which is really good. So we, we're really pleased with it. It's a definitely a step in the right direction. Do I think that we have further to go? Absolutely. absolutely. But I absolutely can say the plate that they provide is 80% plants. Um, and if I could get everybody to eat 80% plants, that's, that's what we I see. would do cartwheels. And I haven't done a cartwheel in a very long time. <laughs> I just did one yesterday. You're a better man than me. I was sleeping, but... <laughs> You're always a better man than me. No, yeah, well, I hope so. <laughs> so that's what we talked about this week. Um, again, if, you, if you're interested in more details on any of those, go back and watch them. If you missed Russ making bread the other night, you absolutely have to watch that video. It's actually kind it's of It's actually funny. got a few hundred views already, so that's kind it's of It's got some bloopers in it because, yeah. you know, Russ isn't used to doing lives by himself. I think in the future, maybe I'll have to help him run them. I just them. love my expression of shock when I realize I'm, in, I'm live. Hey, Deborah. Good morning. Good morning, Deborah. Oh, she posted the link. Thank you. That's Thank very you. helpful. So if you haven't seen um, seen the food guide for Canada, uh, Kristen just posted the link, so you guys can just click on it and check it out. It's mm -hmm. it's really good. But yeah, watch Russ's bread recipe. It's very uh, bread video. It's very funny. And if you don't have the recipe, you can get it on our website at rnrjourney.com under Robin's recipes. It's the free recipe that's available on that page. Correct. If you, like, you share, subscribe. Yep. I said that. Like, share. Give us a high five. Do something. Let us know you're and here. And when you like and, sh and share and subscribe and all that stuff from the Facebook, make sure you go up the notifications and select all posts or they won't show you us and you want to see us. I mean, let's face it. <laughs> We're a lot of fun. We're a lot of fun. In the <laughs> all right. And so with that, we'll say eat real food, mostly, mostly plants. plants. Have a great weekend, guys. Have a good one. We'll see you on Monday.